Welcome back. More provision will be made for the Nigerian Air Force in the 2017 budget to boost Nigeria's air power. That's according to the Chairman, House of Representatives Committee on Air Force, Honorable Samson Oku, when the committee visited the 97th Special Operations Group in Port Harcourt, River State. The committee is currently on an oversight tour to ascertain the operational capacity of the Nigerian Air Force. Some of the projects on ground we see where I provide accommodation for uh, non-commissioned officers. But we commend his effort in trying to make, because if the officers are not accommodated very well, that morale to go and fight the, all these insurgencies will not be there. So that, that one is key component, and we wanted to uh, uh, appreciate the Chief of Air Staff for doing that. Make sure that the aircraft are really serviceable so that uh, we can see how they can fly and combat all this crime. We've seen and uh, that is air power is necessary to Nigeria Air Force. So uh, the committee is going to look at that in the 2017 Appropriation Act to make sure that those uh, where the project maintenance, depot maintenance are being taken place. We will encourage them, we will support them because a crime to the nation is a serious crime. We, the House Committee is in support of the federal government agenda in trying to, 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 to make sure that there is peace in this country. So we will we'll provide all funds necessary for them to take off. And to the aviation sector, reducing the cost of aviation fuel for operators will go a long way towards reducing the overhead of airlines, and that's the view of the managing director of Medview Airlines, Munir Bankole. Mr. Bankole believes that the federal government, after two years in office, should have ensured that one of the local refineries begins production of the product that's about 40% of airline operating costs. One of the major areas we've told the government is the issue of fuel, the JT1. We have said it 10 times. At the point of the, this administration, we thought they are going to create a window in one of the refineries to get this product so that that brings down the exposure of dollar. Still fuel by the mercy of the marketers. They are selling now 204. This well in January last year was 101. Some was 98. Today is 204. Up to Maiduguri Yola, you can go as far as 240. Because the foreign marketer claims that they are looking for the same dollar to get the product in for us. I wish those of us remaining in the industry will continue to pray to God Almighty to salvage this and, and use this medium for the government. We spoke in, the Honorable Minister of Aviation, I want to say it openly here, he has been moving around with us. We were successfully on the same journey to the custom. We succeeded in getting the support on the waiver on the spare part. We need to say it to you openly. And that is another window. We need to commend the federal government on that. And now back to the southeast and in Imo state. The state chapter of the Nigerian Medical Association has urged both federal and state governments as well to create more permanent programs and policies that will help aid effective health care delivery for the people in the long term. The chairman of the association made this appeal at the official flag off of free medical outreach services to local government areas. Top government functionaries from Imo State federal and state lawmakers, traditional rulers, and health workers are gathered under canopies on the grounds of the Ihime Umbano Local Government Secretariat of Okigwe South Federal Constituency. They are here to witness the flag off of the 2016 Free Medical Outreach Services for the people of Ehime Mbano, Obowo, and Ihite Boma local government areas of the state. Many will be physically fit. Though the federal government believes the country made some progress on the Millennium Development Goals, which gave way to the Sustainable Development Goals, it agrees that coverage could be improved. The event of today is very important. What it means is that still there in our rural areas and those inaccessible areas and sites, there are still a lot of jobs to, to be done. The United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, UNICEF, has indicated its willingness to support the drive. 
with the tacit approval of the governor, UNICEF is going to do and support this across the several local government areas of uh, Imo State from next year. They'll make it part of their work plan for 2017 and they will support us to do that across Imo State. The chairman of the Nigeria Medical Association acknowledges the outreach as a relief, but urges the government to invest in permanent structures and policies for more effective health care. That is when our health centers, general hospitals, teaching hospitals become functional so that at the end of the day, people will comfortably and, you know, walk into the hospitals and procure qualitative and affordable health care service. The treatment center and facility for the free medical outreach is commissioned by the wife of the Imo state governor, Mrs. Nkichinieri Okorocha. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Here, about 200 health personnel offer various health services, including consultations for eye problems and other complaints, as well as blood pressure monitoring. Over 3,000 residents are expected to benefit from the outreach. Finally, into the education sector in the southwest, workers at the Obafemi Awolowo University have shut down activities in the institution. The workers, comprising members of the Senior Staff Association and the Non-Academic Staff Union, trooped out early in the day to converge on the front of the Senate building to protest what some of them have described as moves within some powerful authorities to manipulate issues of appointing a substantive vice-chancellor for the university. As of the time of the filing of this report, the leadership of the two unions have been summoned to a meeting by the acting vice-chancellor of the university. And that's it for this edition of News Across Nigeria. Many thanks for watching from all of us. I'm Alumide Macaulay. See you again.